Hi, we're here today to talk about North Dakota's boot camp and any questions you might have. I'm here today with Kev, Rose and Elenia. Would you mind introducing yourselves? Sure, my name's Elenia and I'm the head of onboarding here at North Dakota's. Um, I basically look after everything that happens between the first time you get in contact with us or submit your application and your first day on the bootcamp. I'm Rose, I am a cohort lead on the software engineering bootcamp at North Coders, uh, which basically means should you make it onto the course, uh, I will be delivering some of the lectures that you will see uh, and just generally helping you along with your journey. Hi, I'm Kev, uh, I'm a seminar lead at North Coders and that basically means that after you've had a, a wonderful lecture with Rose, you might join myself in a smaller group uh, and discuss some concepts and work through some concepts at a seminar level. And I'm there to help as well, sometimes. So Rose, yes. can you talk to us about how people can apply? Yeah, absolutely. It's really, really easy. Um, just go to our website, northcoders.com, and then there's a great big red button that says apply now. It's pretty hard to miss. Elenia, can you talk to us all about what the steps of application are? Yeah, absolutely. So um, basically when you submit an application, you'll then pretty quickly get an email from us. They'll tell you a little bit about um, what we expect from you throughout the application process. And it'll also include a link to register on our learning platform. So once you've registered your account for the learning platform, you'll have access to some preparation materials. Um, they consist of the JavaScript basics, which is like an introductory course to JavaScript, which is um, a very popular programming language. And then also the practice challenges, which basically just allows you to apply what you've learned throughout the JavaScript basics in a more practical setting. Um, and once you've completed most of the practice challenges, we'll then invite you to book your entry challenge. The entry challenge is like a short coding test. It's really nothing to be scared of. And once you've passed your entry challenge, we'll make an offer to study on a bootcamp. Can you talk to us about what support there is whilst people are on the application process? Yeah, cool. So once uh, upon applying, we will get you set up with a Slack account. Uh, and on the Freshers side of that, we have the Freshers channel. We also have a channel for our practice challenges as well. Within those channels, you will have, of course, uh, fellow students. It's quite nice that people can kind of help each other along with stuff. There are also staff monitoring those channels as well, both from the classroom side of things for more technical help. Uh, and then for onboarding help, there's members of our onboarding team as well. Thank you. And Kev, can you talk to us a bit about what if someone fails the entry challenge? Well, yeah, the, the entry challenge basically exists so that we can gauge whether a student's appropriate to come and learn with us at North Coders. If you fail the first time, you'd get some feedback and then all of the relevant information you need to hopefully prep for a more successful second entry challenge. If you did unfortunately fail the second time, we would provide you with lots of resources for alternative places where you might choose to learn instead. And Kev, coming back to you, can you explain to us what the project phase is like? Oh, project phase. Uh, project phase is my favourite time on course. So um, project phase uh, normally consists of three weeks and um, I think it's fair to say that you're thrown together with a group of your peers. The groups are normally between four and six in size. And then normally project phase is split pretty much 50-50. The first half being exploring new technologies, um, exploring projects that will be sort of appropriate in a real world situation. Um, the project phase is driven as much as possible like a real world project would be. Um, and then the second half of the project is actually coding towards the end product. And of course, once you've completed the project, we have a graduation day where we present the projects to all of our peers. So Rose, can you tell us a bit about what the support is like during the application process? Cool, yeah. So all of our applicants get added to our student freshers workspace on Slack. Within there, there are kind of two main channels that they'll be using. Uh, the first one that I'd mention is uh, we have a practice challenges channel uh, which is where of course other applicants uh, are in there as well so students quite often help each other in that way uh, we also have members of the classroom team in there to help with kind of tech support and solutions um, and then finally we also have um, our onboarding team as well members of them in there to help with any other questions also we have our javascript basics channel uh, which is more kind of a peer-to-peer -peer study group uh, and then also via Slack, what's really, really useful is we have three times a week, uh, we organize drop-in sessions um, where students can come in, 
uh, have a chat with a tutor, ask some questions, get over anything they might be finding a bit tricky. Those run during the day um, and an evening as well. So there's, there's always something for everybody. Do we do any part-time boot camps? Yeah, we do. So our software development boot camp is also available as a part-time course. The part-time course is 30 weeks long and we offer a range of flexible daytime and evening sessions. So depending when you are busy with other things like childcare or work, um, you'll be able to fit that around your schedule. Can you tell us a little bit more about what to expect in a software development bootcamp? Yeah, well, like at all of our courses, the software development bootcamp is split into blocks. We have four major blocks, um, and starting off with an intro week. And then we will have a fundamentals block, which is the same actually for all of our courses. It's just a fundamental in the fundamentals in the language. And then software engineering moves into a back end block, followed by a front end block, and then the all important project phase. And what about data engineering? Our data engineering course um, is split into also into blocks in a very similar way. Um, we uh, similarly have an intro week. Um, there's always a fundamentals block as well, just to get yourself used to the various nuances of the languages. And at the end, we always have a project phase uh, for all of the uh, all of the boot camps that we offer. Data engineering is a little bit different. In the middle, they have interspersed some blocks that are to do with um, some tools that data engineers will need. For example, cloud block. They have a techniques block. And how about Java development? Um, so the Java course again looks. Uh, fairly similar. Um, we have an intro week. Um, there's a couple of different sections that cover fundamentals. There's quite a lot of fundamentals with Java. There's an OAP section and testing in that. Um, we have, again, the all important project phase at the end. Um, and then there is a back end and a front end block in the middle of that. And I think there's also a little DevOps section as well. But if you do want more information about any of the courses, you can just have a look on the website. All the information's there. So, Elena, can you tell us a bit more about what funding is available? Yes, absolutely. So our boot camps are available at two different price points. We have our North Coders core tier, which is essentially the course itself. And then we also have our North Coders career plus tier, which is the course plus career support and access to our internal jobs board. We offer different ways to pay for your boot camp. So we have advanced payments available with a discount and we also have a deferred payment plan available. Some people might also be eligible for a government funded scholarship place, which is funded by the Department for Education. Elena, can you tell us a little bit more about the eligibility for the government funded spaces? Yes, absolutely. So there is a range of eligibility criteria you'd have to meet um, to qualify for a free place on the bootcamp. These criteria are set by the Department for Education, who fund these free places, and you can find them on our website. On our website, we also have a very handy quiz you can take, uh, which basically will tell you if you're eligible or not. And if you'd like to claim one of these government funded scholarship places, there's a scholarship application form that we can send you once you've passed your entry challenge. Can you tell us a bit more about how long it takes to apply to Boot Camera? Yes, absolutely. So filling out the initial application form takes maybe a minute, but then after that, the application process itself can take a little bit longer than that. So most people will probably spend around two to three weeks preparing for the entry challenge until they can actually take it. Um, but it really depends on the individual person. Some people spend a few days getting ready for it and some people spend a few months getting ready for it. So it's really all up to you. So Elenia, can you tell us a bit about the career support on the boot camp? We have a careers team here at North Coders. He'll meet after a few weeks on the boot camp. You'll also have a dedicated careers advisor who'll be looking after you throughout your time on the course. They'll be able to help you with your CV and your cover letters. They can do mock interviews with you if you've got a job interview lined up. And also you'll get access to our internal jobs board where our hiring partners advertise roles specifically to hire North Coders graduates. The career support is available for up to six months after graduation. If you want to know any more about our career support and North Coders, you can check out a link in the description that'll tell you a little bit more. Rose, can you tell us a little bit more about the community at North Coders? I can indeed. Uh, so I think that the community at North Coders is one of the biggest things that sets us apart. Um, first of all, friendliest team in the world. It really is such a pleasure of a place to be. Um, from a student specific level, um, of course, there's uh, cohort mates. You kind of there's this real sense of camaraderie, like you're all in it together. Within that, you may well be sorted into a smaller seminar group, as Kev was saying. Um, and then additionally to that, even further, we practice a lot of pair programming. 
uh, which is really beneficial because it's very broadly recognized and used in the industry. But another huge benefit of it is that kind of bonding, learning how to communicate, uh, speaking kind of a technical uh, but accessible language uh, with your peers, which is really, really great. Um, another fantastic thing to do is wherever possible, if people can come into any of our campuses, uh, is just such a nice place to be. Everyone's kind of in the same boat. We have people from all of the different cohorts, all of the different courses, all in one place. Uh, so you can see all sorts going on. Um, but it's still a very fun community if people are working from home as well. Can you tell us if people need to do anything in particular to secure a place on the boot camp? Yes, absolutely. So, of course, learners need to pass their entry challenge in order to be considered for a cohort. I'd also say that we look for a really positive attitude in our students and also communication is very important to us. So I'd keep this in mind throughout the application process and, for example, get back to us when we reach out to you. So, Kev, can you tell us a bit more about what the day today looks like on the boot camp? Yeah, um, often the days uh, have a sort of a quite a similar structure. So I'd say the average day at North Coders would be a fairly early lecture, followed by some sprints, which are basically some exercises which are designed to crunch through the concepts that you learn in the lecture. And then normally straight after lunch, we would expect a seminar where we would discuss some of those concepts. Uh, they're often progress based seminars, so dependent on where you are in the sprint you'll go into a seminar that's appropriate to the challenge that you're on at the time. Um, and then the rest of the afternoon is to kind of work through them with that extra bit of learning that we've got from the seminar. Thanks for watching, Elenia, Rose and Kev. Thanks for joining me today. If you have any questions, drop us an email on hello at northcoders.com.